Eric Mwad at mother.com. In response to your email question, I was actually about to type the question and respond to you via email, but I think I'll just go ahead and do a quick video. And let's begin by taking a look at the two stocks you were talking about. The first one is AAC, which we can see here is attempting to break out above this recent weekly closing high. No problem with there. Let's take a look at the monthly and we can see that on the monthly, because it's an IPO, we don't have enough data to generate data on the MACDs and the RSI. So whenever you have this type of a situation where the stock is not mature enough, you have to default and go to the weekly. By the way, let's go back to the monthly again. If you want to use the monthly for a buy point, the buy point there is 35.99, which happens to be the previous monthly closing high. So 35.99 can be used as the breakout level if the stock moves above 35. If the stock moves above that like it's doing right now, it's breaking out, you buy it with the idea that it is going to hold above that. If we take a look at the weekly now, we can see that we need the weekly to have the minimum requirements because we don't have enough data on the monthly. The weekly has to uh, take the place of the monthly. And here we see that a couple of things. We are not seeing the weekly RSI move to either all time highs. The one thing that could help the stock is if the RSI moves above 69.1. But by itself, the weekly RSI is not breaking out either to three-year highs or to all-time highs. So this is a problem. So there's a question mark there. Secondly, if we take a look at the MACDs, none of them is at all-time highs or about, well, you we can say this, MACD, this MACD could be just about to, with a little push, move above recent highs and all-time highs. But you can see the other MACDs ways off before it can make fresh highs. So in terms of the technical aspect, I do believe here that we have a little bit of a slight problem because the stock is not meeting the minimum requirements for the ultimate more the breakout. And the other thing that a little bit of a caution for me is this move here from 38 all the way to 24 in two weeks. So this attempt to rally only to drop significantly to me is a red flag. Um, I would rather we look at stocks that have the ability to hold on to their gain. So yes, you know, you can still buy the stock here as long as it is holding above 35.99, which is also the current weekly closing high prior to this week. So yes, you can buy it, but just be aware that the stock has a little bit of a failure to meet the minimum requirements. And also, I don't like this big move from 38 to 24 in about two weeks. That was a big turnaround. So you would set a stop just below 35.99 or at least 5% with a maximum of 8% from your purchase price. Otherwise, from really an ideal situation, the stock does not meet the ultimate Moade breakout. You also mentioned the daily for AAC and to be honest once you have considered the stock a buy from a weekly or from a monthly standpoint the daily consideration is less of a problem so because we know that 35.99 is our buy point the daily considerations unless you are trying to time this for a bounce and you can see for example held the 50 that was a good entry level it went below 50 and above 50 recently with uniform activity that's a rebound entry level but since we are playing the breakout, I would not put too much emphasis on the daily because the weekly chart is more stronger than the daily, just like the monthly chart is stronger than the weekly chart. The other stock that you are looking at is CO. Now here I do have a little bit of a problem with this chart and it is because of this just doesn't seem to have good momentum. This is a monthly chart and the stock just all over the place. Even this month, it lost most of its gains only to close higher the next month and now pulling back. So from a stability standpoint, not the best looking chart. Also, from a weekly standpoint, you can see this clearly. You see a spike, drop, spike, nothing, spike, drop, spike, drop, 
spike, drop, and on and on. It's very volatile. And even recently, you can see it keeps to just doesn't hold on to its gain. So really, from a visual perspective, I would not even consider this one. You mentioned the entry level here as another reason to watch the stock. About 5, five or 9 was the previous monthly closing high. Number one, just because I don't like the 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 way the monthly looks and the weekly, I would not even go into detail of finding the next buy point because the problem here is if you buy the next buy point or, the, or if you find an entry into the stock, the problem is you're still going to be part of the next up and down movement and that is not what you want. You want stocks that have a little bit of stability. So purely from a visual aspect, this is what I call an ugly chart. It really doesn't show a lot of good flow. And maybe I should show you an example of a good chart. And here's a, an example just off the top of my head, HZNP. This is a weekly chart. And you can see the difference here is nice fluid action when the stock is moving. Nice fluid action. That's what you are always looking, looking for. And if you take a look at the monthly, you can see also when it's moving, nice fluid action. Again, when it starts moving, nice fluid action now compare that to the previous chart for co on the monthly and you can see this is not very fluid in my opinion you got this drop up and down up drop so that's the problem so this one i would not put on my watch list just because of the way the chart looks right now Okay, the other stock in your watch list that you are trying to consider and maybe add to your watch list is LHCC. And yes, we can see here it is attempting to break out on the monthly chart. And you know, it looks like a nice innocent breakout. But I want to show you something about this chart that I just noticed. And if I go back, so this is a month, three year monthly chart, just to be sure. This is three years worth of monthly data. If I go and take a look at the all-time monthly data, you're going to see something absolutely disturbing. And it is the hi a history of up, down, 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 up, So there's a problem. This is an ugly chart. This is not what you want to see for stock you're trying to buy because obviously, even though the stock has moved from the lows here of $13, $13 or so, all, to, all the way to 36. The history of this stock is such that it is not one that is sustaining its move over a period of years. So just this inconsistency is a red flag. So even this one, be honest with you, I would remove it from my watch list just because of that action. We take a look at the weekly and you can also see from the weekly there's no consistency. None. And this type of stock would, would really frustrate you when you own it because just when you think it's about to move, there's no consistency. So again, there we are looking for a stock with a consistent price pattern. Uh, let's go back to the all-time monthly chart. just want to show you what a good, a good chart looks like. Let's take a look at the chart for the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ long-term monthly. You got this nice trend whenever it's moving higher, nice trending market. Whenever it's moving higher, it has nice trend. And so that's what you're looking for. Stock with good, nice trending action. Here, we don't see that. Just one more monthly chart. And this is a monster beverage. And take a look at when the stock is moving, how it has nice swings, nice consistent monthly price action. And so this is what you're looking for, stocks that have a history of, in the past, having a nice, consistent rally. Otherwise, if you buy a stock that has never had a nice, consistent move, as we see here, then you're going to find a stock that is going to frustrate you. Otherwise, off the list, the stock that looked good was AAC. The others were a little bit questioned just because of the way the charts appear. Otherwise, Eric Mwadi, good luck. Peace and blessings. Woo.